Let's look at the contacts application in the Nokia C7. Contacts is located here at the menu button in the menu on the contacts. And as you can see so far I have not imported any contacts. I picked up this phone, stuffed in my SIM card almost on the way out and switched the phone on while I was on the move. So if there is some kind of wizard in order to make me import my contacts or synchronize my contacts, I have not used it. So in order to make a phone usable, in order to ensure a high degree of usability, the phone should somehow be smart. Some would say that it should be intuitive, that it should be prepared for the actions that the user will perform. What we have here is an empty list, and an empty list is always a golden opportunity to help the user in order to get some content in the list. So here's a lot of blank space. If I go into options, I'll learn that I can uh, add a new contact, I can synchronize with Ovi, which is our Nokia's online um, thingy, and I can import my SIM numbers if I want to. So some would say, well, why don't you just go down there? It's because I'm not sure what options has to offer. So why did Nokia miss the opportunity to place a big fat button here saying new contact, or a big fat button saying synchronize, or import from SIM card or SIM lab. Whenever I see an empty field or an empty list in a phone, I always think, well, then what do I do in order to put content in it? And what has the designer behind this application done in order to help me? I am a user. Users are lazy. Convenience is king. I want all the help that I can get. And I don't care how much programming it needs to take, how many lines of code you should put in, how much more difficult it is to test or stuff like that. I just want something that fits me because I'm the user and I want the software to be tailored to my needs and my needs only. I'd like to emphasize that when I talk about this and when I sort of give the designer a hard time, it's actually more directed at the team leader of the designer or the project manager who has been responsible for allocating hours for this because I'm sure that every designer out there who's doing design for mobile phones doing applications um, at companies such as Nokia, Sony Ericsson, Samsung, HTC, or the big ones, I'm pretty sure that they know what should be done and they would like more time, more hours, more resources in order to perfectionize their interfaces with buttons that help the user more. And I'm pretty sure that they just didn't have the time to do it. Let me show you another example. If I go into groups here, So it says there are no groups here. You can select new group from options down here to add some groups. Well, I'm pretty sure that the designer behind this application knows that it would be much better to have a big button up here saying new group or similar, or do you wish to add a group? But maybe there wasn't time to do it. Um, so therefore the next solution would be just to say, well, if we cannot provide you with a big button here, we can at least tell you where you should go. And of course you can just go to options, you can just add a new group here, call it something, etc. I won't do this. So this is better than just having an empty list, but still it's not as usable as I could expect because I just want the action straight away. I don't want to learn that I should go here or here in order to perform my action. Also the first thing I see here the first action I see here is create my card. I'm not sure what my card is. It could be a business card. Fair enough, then I can share my business card with my business contacts over Bluetooth or what do I know. But is it more important than having a big button saying import contacts from SIM or similar? So if I wish to create a new contact here, I go into options and I create a new contact by pressing new contact. And I have first name, last name, mobile, telephone, mail, address, image, ringing tone, video call, internet phone, company, job title, and synchronization. And if I want to, I can add more details. I can add all these. I'm not going to read these aloud, because there's simply too many. And the list goes on. Now this is a phone targeted for a female audience. It's called the little sister of the N8. 
and I'll just show you a few pictures of it here so you can see the hardware design. Well, I cannot speak for every female consumer out there. I'm not a girl or woman myself. But when I talk to women, they don't seem interested in mobile phones more than just having a communications device that looks good. Of course, this might be a very, very rude uh, generalization, but, but those are the women that I meet in a Western country, such as Denmark. So I'm not quite sure why they would use all these. But luckily, you can get away with just adding first name here, last name, and a phone number. So even though you have the option of entering all these informations, you don't necessarily have to. Um, but personally, I do think that this clutters the interface, that it's, it sends a signal to the user that we wish that you enter all this information even though you don't. I'd prefer something more simple as first name, last name, maybe an email, and then a button saying more or similar. And you'll notice that if you see the review of the Sony Ericsson X10 Mini Pro that I actually commented directly on this, that they only had the most simple information and then the rest of it was hidden under some advanced mode or more mode. But here the user is reminded that this phone is more technical than she is, especially if you go in to add more details, which is, well, I don't, I don't see anybody in my network of persons who would like to add something such as spouse or children or assistant's name or stuff as this for a simple contact. When I've added my contact, it's here on the screen, and I can select it here, and then I get some options voice calling, um, messaging, or to uh, contact them on some kind of social network. So I think it's a nice design that you don't press the contact and then just call it straight away, but you get these other options where voice calling is the most important. Now if I import my contacts under SIM numbers, it's very easy. It asks me if I want to do it, and I will. And here are all my contacts, and here are the things that I can do with every contact. If I want to edit the contact, it's fairly simple. Um, I can add an image if I press up here. And I can edit the rest of the contact details by pressing options and then edit here, which then gives me all these options. So this is a fairly usable application. There's nothing that surprises you. But what I'm missing as a user is a helping hand when I'm stuck in a corner such as having no contacts.